Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I am sharing a card with the brand new Octopi My Heart mini stamp set and coordinating dies, and the awesome new fancy scalloped rectangles dies. There's also fancy scalloped circles, which are so super cute. I'm also going to use some little seaweed and fossil images from the Best Fishes, I believe that's the name of it, stamp set. I'm going to start by stamping the cute little octopus, the little bow for her hair. You can definitely make it however you want to. And then, of course, the seaweed and the fossil or the coral. I don't know why I said fossil, coral. And I stamped those with my Misty so I could get some really nice crisp stamped images by stamping them one on top of another. I am using the new Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink and then coloring in my images with Copic markers. I decided to make a pink octopus because this of course is a Valentine's themed card. Hard to believe that we're thinking about Valentine's Day in the paper crafting world, but I kind of love the pinks and reds that I've been seeing everywhere. Um, kind of fun to do something a little non-holiday related, especially as the holiday season has really set in and whatever. So sometimes it's a little fun to go outside of the current holiday zone there. I did color in my octopus with three different shades of pink markers. And then of course I thought she needed a little aqua bow for her head. Just a little touch of color there, something a little different. Red for my coral. Of course, that'll coordinate nicely with the red and pink theme. And then I'm going to use a couple of shades of green for the seaweed. Um, pretty typical. I color it this way a lot. I think it's easy to color. I kind of do it with my light color and then color half of each of the little pieces with my darker marker and then blend it out. I will go back and create some more definition with a white gel pen once I have die cut all my images. I went ahead and stamped the small heart from the stamp set on the octopus and then colored it in and I'm going to die cut everything with the coordinating dies. I will also take one of the fancy scalloped rectangle dies and a dotted rectangle die, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me again, and nest them one inside of another. This way I can create a frame and a background for my shaker. I did die cut these from smooth white cardstock instead of watercolor cardstock. The result is very similar. I think it might be a little bit more subtle than it tends to be on watercolor cardstock because I am going to do a little work with water and distress inks, which of course the distress inks will work with the water so nicely. I also have a piece of acetate that I have trimmed to go behind this frame. So I'm gonna lay out my images kind of where I think they're gonna go. This is gonna give me an idea of where I want to stamp my greetings. I am a huge fan of stamping my greetings on the acetate, the window, rather than on the inside of the shaker. That way they're visible whenever, not just when the shaker material isn't covering them. So I am using some white stays on ink and I have stamped you octopi and then my heart. And you can even see it here pretty good before I add the distress inks for my layers. Then I'm going to just move that to the side and I'm going to ink up both the layer and the inside, or the layer, the frame and the inside panel at the same time using Barn Door Picked Raspberry and Sponge Sugar Distress inks. All three for a nice little ombre effect. Spritz on some water from a distress sprayer. You can see that distress ink reacting with the water. I'm going to just blot it dry and then go ahead and adhere all of my die cut images to create that little scene inside the shaker. This card was created really quickly, super fast. The th only thing that took the longest was maybe coloring the images, even 
at that, they're small images. I don't have a ton of them. So that didn't really take that long of a time. Um, die cutting the frames, adding a little ink or whatnot. But truly, this was a really quick card to create. I am gonna take the little water bubbles from the stamp set and ink them kind of coming up from the octopus. And then I'm using a water pen to kind of help remove the ink from those areas. And I'll just blot it dry with a paper towel. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. That's gonna lighten up the areas where the bubbles are just a little bit. And then I can go and add some glossy accents to these to give them a nice glossy, really bubble look. I forgot to add the bow to my octopus and I think that really just kind of steals the show. So super cute. You could even make this maybe a little bow tie for a boy. Um, I think that would be adorable as well. Go ahead and stamp another little bubble near the bottom. Do the same thing, remove the water, blot it dry, and then I'm going to just fill those areas with glossy accents. And then set this panel aside to completely dry. It's not a lot of glossy accents, so it's not gonna take too terrible long for that to dry before I can put the whole thing together. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my shaker area. I'm also gonna add some additional detail, like the black for the eyes on the octopus with a black glaze pin, the Wink of Stella clear glitter pin for the bow and the heart, and a white pin to add detail to the seaweed like I was talking about earlier. I will also use that for the octopus tentacles. Um, I think that will add some nice detail to those as well. All very small little things you can do to dress up images and really make them pop, make them yours. Go ahead and finish just a couple more here with my white opaque pin. Then I've got some adhesive on the back of my frame. I started with my tape runner and it was really too thick because I don't want it to be behind the dotted kind of scalloped edge. So I just took some tape adhesive instead. I'm gonna put two layers of foam tape around the edges, use a powder anti-cling tool to help keep the seed beads from sticking too badly. These are adorable teeny tiny little seed beads from Honey Bee. I love them, they're really small. They're not even really seed beads, they're just these teeny tiny little beads, I love them. Go ahead and take my back panel and adhere it to the front shaker portion. Flip it over and shake it up to see the bubbles from my pink ocean floating around. Now I was gonna go ahead and attach this to a standard card base and I was like, oh, the background's kind of boring. Um, my shaker's kind of small, it's not a huge shaker. So what can I do to dress that up? I ended up die cutting another fancy scalloped rectangle from white cardstock another rectangle from a dotted rectangle die and layered that on top also from white cardstock. So I've got a, several layers here, nice decorative edges, and I'm going to adhere this whole thing to my card base and it makes a huge difference. It gives so much more interest to the background, um, to that white border, even though it's still white, love that texture and the decorative edges from both of those rectangles. Now, one last thing, I thought I needed some of those big hearts from the Octopi My Heart stamp set. So I am gonna go ahead and stamp three of the large hearts with that jet black ink again. I'm gonna color these in with red markers, my R24 and R29, die cut these with the coordinating dies and then attach those on top or on the front frame of my shaker. This is another thing I love to do. I love to have stuff going on inside the shaker, but then I love to have my greeting on the acetate window and then have something going on on the outside of the shaker too. It adds a ton of depth and dimension to the design, even for something as simple as this. This is a really simple shaker, but it just really pops with those little, that little teeny tiny addition of some fun little hearts on the front. 
Thanks for joining me today for this Lawn Fawn video showcasing the Octopi My Heart stamps and coordinating dies and fancy scalloped rectangle dies. The supplies I've used to create this card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos showcasing Valentine's and loved theme cards that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.